So I showed this problem to my kids in a grapple a couple of days ago. A bicycle goes on sale for 25% off the original price. The new price is then reduced by an additional 20%. What's the single reduction percentage for the bicycle? And as expected, most of the kids did this. 25% plus 20% is 45%. So after talking about what's wrong with this for a while and the kids realize there's a new price you're taking the 20% from, uh, what I did is I explained this concept. 100 minus 25% is 75% and the kids came up with that 75%. And then the question was, how do I take 20% of 75%? That was a sticking point. And, uh, uh, you know, every time you use the word of in a story problem, it means multiplication. And that's what I explained to the kids. Uh, but that's not a concept. That's more of a trick and, and, and a vocab piece. And I wanted the kids to really understand the concept. 75% um, times 20% is 15%. You add the two and you get 40%. And some of the kids got that, some of them didn't. And the ones that got it, I still don't know if they understand why it works. Well, after Jamie's wonderful presentation last night at the town meeting, the much politicized uh, town meeting, um, I, I had an epiphany. I realized that he had introduced me or, or reintroduced me to something that I already knew called a bar model. Um, <laughs> this bar represents 100%. If I'm taking 25% off, I can divide this bar into four sections of 25%. Pretty simple, right? To take 25% off, I very simply take 25% off. And what am I left with? 75%. My new price. All right, no matter what the original price is, and some of the kids had a hard time with this, but this helps. Uh, some of the kids really wanted um, some type of original price. They wanted the six dollars and fifty cents, and then they could take twenty-five percent of that. Um, what what we're trying to get across is that this can be used for any price because we're dealing in percentages. Well, the sticking point. Now we're at the sticking point. We have this new price. How do we take twenty percent of that? Well, let's use this as our new price. Is this square right here a hundred percent of our new price? Yeah, it is. That's 100% of our new price. Well, what's 20% of 100? It's one-fifth. So I can divide my new price into five equal portions. We'll do that. One, two, three, four, five equal portions. They're each 20% of my new price. Okay? And I take out one of those. That's the 20%. Well, how many portions did I divide that into? Five. Well, that's a simple math problem. What's 75 divided by five? I don't know. Let's try 10. Five times 10 is 50, which leaves me with 25. I know 5 into 25 is 5. And 10 plus 5 is 15%. So I have here 15% and 25%. I've taken both of these out of the original price. So my single reduction percentage is 15 plus 25, which is 40%. Many of the kids are going to understand this in a much better way than this. Okay? Sorry, I didn't get you this division problem, but many of the kids are going to understand this in a much better way than what you have right here. I guess one of the things I'm trying to get across with this isn't that you have to do your math problems that, this way, but I've been tr still trying to teach math 
from a non Singapore perspective and um, you know let's be forgiving to ourselves I'm gonna go back and do this problem with these kids again show them this way of doing it be excited about it and some of them will go oh my gosh this is really awesome um, but uh, don't get down on yourself if you feel like you're not doing Singapore the right way because none of us are doing it perfectly none, none, of, none of us will ever teach perfectly um, we just all we all we can do is improve each time we see an improvement that needs to be made. So there's my improvement for the for the day.